you want your invoicing to match the rest of your brand and you only want what's on your invoice to be what you want your client to see. That's why we have created a, an invoice template for you. Head to workspace settings and then templates. This is gonna give you even greater control over what goes on your invoices. Click on the plus button to create a new template. You can give it a name and you can make this your default template after you feel happy with it. Um, you'll see here you have these elements. We'll talk about these layouts first. Uh, there is a container. So uh, you can create two or three containers, and this is going to give you control over how big each element is in this container. So uh, if you want an image, but you want some white space on either side, you could create three and you could just add an image element here in the center. Uh, you can see that here, uh, background images, uh, you can add those here as well. And you have control over the padding in each column also. You also have simply these horizontal dividers and you can add some vertical spacing as well. Within your content, you can add images, texts, and file attachments. So you'll add uh, this if you want to be able to attach a file in your invoice. Uh, you can also do multiples of each of those things. Uh, and you can add your logo. Uh, the main reason you would add your logo instead of just adding an image is that this is going to pull from the logo that you added in your business details within your account. So if you ever do a rebrand, uh, you can always update just one place with your logo and it will update date everywhere that you've used your logo. The bulk of your invoice is, of course, your line item. So you'll click and drag this over here and then click on the element itself to be able to edit this. Uh, this will populate with some sample data the first time that you uh, add this, and you'll be able to uh, change some of the things that are here and showing. So let's say you just do a fixed rate project. So you don't really need to show the quantity and you don't really need to show tax. Now you can just see here is the rate rate that you're charging for that project and a total over here with subtotals and other items as well. Uh, since I've removed tax, obviously this number is not going to stay here since uh, I have pulled off the tax here as well. Um, you have your layout here. Again, you can choose uh, different sizes if you'd like to have uh, that for your clients uh, and you can add in your padding as well. Here's where you'll add your colors and you can even customize the pay now button text as well as size. And you can update the labels. So uh, if you have different verbiage that you like to use for your clients, uh, you could also uh, put these in another language. If uh, you need to, you can always just add your language uh, here for your clients to be able to read in their own language. Uh, for each of these headings. Uh, the other piece is that you can decide to show a detailed on your time entries on your invoice. So uh, if you are billing hourly and you want to be able to show uh, the date, what you worked on that date, as well as tasks and any notes, uh, you can just turn this on detailed time entries. Or if you just want to show here's how many hours I worked, here's how much that cost you and a total, you can turn that off as well. Uh, you also have the style here. You can add in your custom fonts uh, or another Google font in here, as well as your uh, colors for your brand as well. Uh, you can get a full picture of what one of like on our sample template that will come included. You can see here, this is very similar to what our standard invoice looks like. If you go to create an invoice, you've got kind of all of your text here uh, and you have your logo as well plus uh, this information uh, lives here. If you want to do something similar to this, but not quite, when you do create your invoice template, when you add text, uh, you'll be able to use all of these tokens as well. So you can add in your information or you can use these tokens uh, to have your client's name, client address, client city, and all of the client information here in your uh, invoice template. And again, that's what this in your sample data is showing. This is using uh, these uh, those tokens as well. And that is invoice templates. If you have more questions about invoices or templates or anything, you can always ask questions here in our, in our help center and find more in our knowledge base.